chill. These people are crazy, leaving journals around like it's everyone's business. This is really useless. <laughs> <laughs> we already know you think it's Nicole. We already know you're a moron. <laughs> I'm actually crossing my fingers to hope that I outlast Alex in the game. It's one of my goals. Maybe he left it in here on purpose so you think he's a moron. No, he's really a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, hunting isn't easy to do. Maybe it's me, maybe it's I think I might have left my journal in a room for someone to take a look at, you know, maybe throw a, uh, some question or doubts in their mind and, and see if they take the bait. He might think that I'm the mole. Are you, yeah, mole, hunting isn't easy to do. I'm gonna find out if it's me or you. Come on in. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three exemptions tonight. Kristen, Mark, and our man Paul here. The other eight, not so safe. One of you will face execution. He had it. I didn't have a clue. Going into this execution, I have a lot more anxiety than I did the last time. We have three exempt people, and the odds are not good. I want to stay all the way to the end, I, or at least, you know, respectable departure. I want to know who the mole is. You know what? I, I know I'm exempt, and I can't go home, but for some reason, I'm still nervous. I don't know why. Because you're paranoid. <laughs> You're stupid to think you're safe in this game. The moment you think you're safe, that's when you're going home. I think I could definitely be executed tonight. After this lovely and lavish dinner, I think you all know what time it is. You will take the quiz, and following the quiz, you will face your second execution. And one of you will be going home tonight. Get ready, America. The quiz is coming up next. It's time for the quiz. 10 questions about the mole. The player who scores the lowest on the quiz will be executed and must leave the game immediately. Question number one, is the mole male or female? I think the game is taking me for a loop and making my emotions like scrambled eggs and making me not feel sane. Number two, in Race to the Summit, how did the mole arrive at the summit? Number three, did the mole earn an exemption in Race to the Summit? Alex has always been one of my number one suspicions from the start. He demands attention. I think Alex could easily be the mole. Number four, in Race to the Summit, which group did the mole join? Number five, at the start of the Wind Pigs Fly mission, did the mole grab a wheelbarrow? Mark, Ellie, and Clay's team got lost. Mark blamed it on Allie. I thought it was down this way, but I don't know. But Mark's a smart guy, and he's got a good sense of direction. The whole thing seems fishy. Number six. How many mole pigs did the mole's Hammond Up team find in Pomire? Number seven. In When Pigs Fly, what did the mole do after returning from Pomire? I think Nicole could definitely be the mole. She came in with guns blazing, and she's died it down a little, and now she's maybe trying to play it another way. Number eight, during When Pigs Fly, did the mole wear protective headgear? Number nine, during When Pigs Fly, was the mole transported in a wheelbarrow for the majority of the time? Bobby could definitely be the mole. He's either the greatest mole ever, or, uh... or the worst player ever. <laughs> Number 10, who is the mole? Good evening, players. We are located outside Cementerio General the largest cemetery in all of Chile. And yes, a very fitting location for your second execution. In just a few moments, I'll be accessing your quiz results. If 
the screen turns green, you are safe and may continue playing the game. If, however, the screen turns red, you've been executed. You must pick up your bag and leave the game immediately. It's time to begin. Clay. Clay, are you ready for your quiz results? Yes, I am. Alex. Victoria. Bobby. Liz. Uh. Liz, I'm sorry. Will you please come with me? Seemed like you uh, enjoyed this and just reveled in every moment of it. Oh, I loved every minute of it. I wouldn't trade it for a million dollars. Well, maybe a million. <laughs> Was there one moment that stood out more than others, maybe? Jumping over the waterfall and I got the bag. I really enjoyed Liz. Every time she opened her mouth, I was amused. Liz was the mother of the group. I mean, not like any of our mothers, really. <laughs> I'm really going to miss her. They got me. <laughs> the mole got me. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. We're going to miss you. <laughs> I'll miss you, too. Thank Liz. you. I mean, I love Liz. I probably would have rather seen some other people on these chairs go home than her. Nicole has, has, has been nothing but just like this in my ear. Every time I, I think I like her, she says something that I don't. And Bobby's been useless the last couple days that we've been here, so. You can be competitive in this game, and you can still be classy. Some people are competitive, but not very classy. Yeah, riding in a wheelbarrow, letting a woman push you around is real classy. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm gonna kill you while you sleep. Threatening my life over a game. You can't handle this already. I can do it and not leave any forensic evidence. All you are is talk, and I'm tired of it. OK, wake up dead. I will beat you in this game. Air transportation provided by Lawn Airlines.